Welcome to a very exciting edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at the Logitech T650. This is a wireless glass touchpad that actually I find bridges the gap between the mouse keyboard experience and the touchscreen experience, especially for Windows 8. Physically, the T650, while not inexpensive, seems to justify its price because it comes with a premium glass top unlike the touch pads you find on most notebooks which are using some kind of plastic or composite it comes with logitech's micro receiver which is actually capable of supporting up to six logitech wireless devices at the same time so you can have a touchpad wireless keyboard mouse wireless headset all that stuff running off one of these tiny little receivers it has a very defined click Actually, it feels very satisfying, although it works best when you put it down on the table. So you can actually click on the right side, the left side, or in the middle if you want a middle click. It is rechargeable, so there's a charging port on the back of the unit. It uses standard micro USB. And last but not least, if you do want to conserve power, although the battery life is quite exceptional, there's a power button on this side that allows you to turn it off if you're not planning to use it. And on the bottom of the T650, again, with the build quality, you can find four rubber pads that are extremely grippy and a slightly angled shape to the device that means that instead of having to rest your hand on something completely flat, it actually works with the shape of your hand and the way that you would hold it to sit at a slight angle, making it more comfortable. Now a video like this wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you how to actually use it. So clicking can be achieved a couple of different ways. Left click is just touching anywhere on the touchpad or, hopefully you guys can hear that click, actually clicking down on the touchpad so you have that tactile feedback. Right clicking is done by single touching the bottom right corner. And middle clicking is simple. You either touch with three fingers or click down with three fingers. Internet navigation can be done with the mouse, but it's kind of nice to be able to casually gesture at things and have them do what you want them to do. So for example, horizontal scrolling can be achieved by using two fingers and scrolling back and forth. So you can actually see the screen is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Vertical scrolling, same thing, two fingers and move it around. Zooming is pretty intuitive for those of you who have smartphones. So you just go like, whoops, there you go, go like that and move your fingers together and further apart. And last but not least, you can actually go back and forward in your browser by swiping with three fingers. Oops, this is kind of an awkward angle here. Three fingers back, three fingers forward, and there you have it. Now where your navigation really gets enhanced is with some of the Windows 8 specific gestures that you can do. So three fingers up gives you the start menu. Three fingers down gives you the desktop. Swiping in from the right gives you the charms menu, which allows you to search, share, start devices, and access all of your settings. So I mean, here's an example of how you might combine some gestures. So, so we swiped in from the right to get to charms. Then we can scroll our volume down quickly or slowly, depending on what we prefer. That's not all though, folks. So let's go back to the start menu. If you are inside a modern UI application, so in this case, we can open up the store, you can actually swipe in from the top to get access to the contextual menu at the bottom, and you can swipe in from the left to switch between the applications that you have open. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. The way that we would actually recommend using this is not to replace a mouse or keyboard. I mean, it's not really for that, not to replace the touchpad on your laptop. But what I would use it for is I would have it set up next to an existing computer so that when I don't feel like clicking on something, it's there and I can just sort of casually gesture at things, especially things like browsing back and forth within an Internet Explorer or another browser, because it really does feel more natural. Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.